Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of our makeup collection. If you can hear drilling, there's someone doing like work somewhere and I can hear it really loud drilling. So if you can hear that, I do apologize, but I cannot tell them to stop doing their jobs. Um, so yeah, in this video, we're gonna be doing part two. We're gonna be doing our fun Alex drawers behind me over here. You can't see them, but they're just over there. Um, I have my nine Alex drawers and I'm gonna go through them all. This is all the, the fun color stuff. This is, I mean, the lips are fun. The foundation was fun. But this is all the fun colours. So this is the glitters, the pigments, the pencils, the um, brow products. This is the blushes, the highlighters, the contours, the palettes, the eyeshadow palettes. Oh, two eyeshadow palette drawers. Face palettes and everything else. And all the weird lashes are over there as well. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a fun one, I think. I hope you enjoyed the first part. Um, I'm actually filming this like straight after, so it's a bit weird for me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first part. And like I said in the first part, if there is anything in these drawers that you see if there's a palette if there's an eyeshadow combo if there's certain colors if there's glitter anything you see in a video or in this video i want me to do a video not necessarily on that thing but i could do a makeup look including it and you can see it in action then let me know in the comments down below hit subscribe down below before I even get to the end of the video, which I'll say at the end probably as well. Um, also, my Instagram is linked down below, so if you want to give me a follow, then do so, because you'll see lots of makeup pictures there. And what else am I thinking? Oh yeah, so I I don't know exactly what I'm on on the day that this is going up, but I'm around about 1,450, like eight subscribers or something like that, or like 60 maybe by then. Um, and I would really, really love if I could get to 2,000 by the end of the year. I know this is not a lot, it's not a lot compared to a lot of the subscribers, but 2,000 people, that's a lot of people. So if I could get to 2,000, I'd be so happy with myself. So hit subscribe down below to support me and see everything that's in my drawers right now. So yeah, I will move my camera. We're gonna go over there and we're gonna look in my drawers, which sounds really dirty. Okay guys, so we're starting off with the top of my drawers because there is some makeup up here, but it is mostly actually my um, perfume collection got some like Victoria's Secret body sprays whoa my elbow looks weird in that uh, direction this is just like a palette or magazine organizer kind of thing and I actually just have my um Juno and Co felt or microfiber sponge drying on it because I just cleaned it um yeah it's just it's basically a lot of perfumes quite old perfumes that I have collections of perfumes that I got over the years I've got the likes of Gucci Bamboo Victoria's Secret I've got a Clinique I've got a Vera Wang We've got um, Paco Rabanne, Britney. We've got like new look, um, eau de toilettes kind of things. The ghost, which I love. Um, and then I've got like little samples I got in like advent calendars or sets and stuff like that. So yeah. Also, I've got my ColourPop. I've got two new sponges that I haven't even tried yet. I'm going to try and get them to show here because I keep forgetting where my camera is. <laughs> um, these are two ColourPop sponges. This is the complexion sponge. And this one is the detailed sponge. I will be trying those out, so I'll hopefully like them. Maybe. Um, I'm loving my microfiber sponge though from Juno & Co. I only use it once, but I love it so far. In here then, we've got some pencils, lots of eye pencils, some liquid liners that I'm currently using. All of my Urban Decay pencils are kind of in here. Um, that's just kind of how I work with them. Um, yeah, I just find it so easy to kind of just grab them from here and my Urban Decay ones are the ones I use the most. So yeah, they're just quite handy to have in here. Um, and it's not just Urban Decay, I've got lots of uh, like Essence, just a lot of my most used ones and um, my favourite kind of ones. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much how they, how they are stored. I do have other pencils in my drawers, which I'll show you in a few minutes. And then over here to the side, I'm not going to pull it out because it means I'll knock everything else over. Um, these are all my, that's my chain off a pair of pants that I own, just hanging there. Um, these are all my lip pencils. So back here we've got our darker colours, our um, like burgundies, reds, purples, pinks, all the kind of colour colours. Up here we've got some more nudie shades, mostly MAC um, and I'm kind of adding from different brands. These are ones that I have backups of here. So I've got Oh Honey Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil, which is discontinued. That's why I got a backup. And I've got a, oh no, that's Oh Honey, and this is Naked Liner, sorry. Um, I've got some Caf on D there as well. So yeah, that's pretty much the top of my drawer. So let's move into the first drawer. Alrighty, you'll notice just here as well, this is where I have my sponges that I kind of use most of the time. If I am using a sponge, I don't use a sponge all the time. I tend to use a brush more so than anything else. But yeah, it's handy to have them there. That's my Game of Thrones palette. I have it on display so you can see the Iron Throne. And yeah, I do use it sometimes, not all the time. 
but I have it on display because I like to use it as a display and just all over here are my brushes which I'm not going to go through right now because they're drying and yeah and um, but I keep my sponges here but the first drawer is so exciting this is all the pigments and glitters let me just scoot you over a little bit is that okay can we see everything okay so as I said in the first video which I will have linked down below and also up in the cards on that side I think it is um, these are dividers I got on Amazon. I'll have them linked in the description box if I remember to. If not, they're on Amazon. They're just the um, customizable divider things. You just slot them together and break them off as you need to. Um, so in here we've got pigments and glitters. This is one of my most fun drawers. This is one that I do dip into a lot. So let me quickly go through it all. Down here in a beautiful colour order I have got my... Oh I do have an eyelash curler. I was looking for an eyelash curler. <laughs> um, I have my Inglot pigments. Um, a few different colours. I don't. I try not to buy too many pigments nowadays because I know I don't use them as often but I do love them. I can't really help myself. And then let me just remove him. We have got some... Makeup Geek pigments, the likes of say Wildfire, Utopia is beautiful, um, also Kaleidoscope I think it is, yes Kaleidoscope is a beautiful kind of duochrome shade, a lot of them are duochromes, I do tend to prefer a duochrome pigment because they're more fun, um, and then here are all my MAC pigments, they're kind of the mini size because I got them around Christmas time so they're all the smaller Christmas size ones, I do have one or two, oh I hit my mic, I do apologise. Um, I do have one or two kind of full size ones. I got vanilla and pink pearl. Yes, pink pearl. The rest are all kind of Christmassy ones. Some of them are like rose, tan, um, deep blue brown. Those kinds of ones are normal range. So yeah, but some of them are limited edition. So I don't use them all the time, but they're nice to have. Back here then are just random pigments that I've collected over the years. We've got some Barry M. We've got some um essence. I mean, I've got just ran like literally random ones. We've got a makeup forever one in there, um, some that I got in uh glossy boxes or things like that or advent calendars, anything like that. I have kind of back there which I do pull out every now and again. But I'm mostly if I'm picking a pigment, I usually pick either my Mac or my Inglot or Makeup Forever. Then on this side, very fun and sparkly and very satisfying by the way. Um, this is all my glitters. So we have got um Makeup Geek sparklers here right in the very front i don't know if you can see it. you can see him anyway we've got some um inglot pigments i'll see if i can pull out my favorite one where is he where's my favorite one this one this is my favorite one it's so beautiful and metallic um i just i just love it so much it's the shade 66 um i'll see if i can get that to focus there we go so it's just the most beautiful metallic. I haven't used it in so long, but I really, really need to bust it out. I actually will. I think I have an idea for a look for it. So yeah, stay tuned for that one if I do come up with it. Um, and then further back, these are blush sparkle glitters. I don't know if blush sparkle is still a thing now, but they're fun to have. Um, we've got some MAC kind of samples. I've got like iridescent white, which is gorgeous. Oh my God which is iridescent, kind of orange, kind of greeny, yellow kind of colour. Then we've got Rock and Orange, which I've used a good few times. I love this colour. Super fun, kind of peachy orange. Um, chunkier glitters. This is a LA Splash in the shade Hawaiian Fizz glitter. It's beautiful yellow. Very hard to get a yellow glitter, actually. Um, I've got my Love Looks Beauty, which I did a video with this in it. The Sugar High Sweetheart Shifter. Um, gorgeous peach that reflects like blue and pink and some MAC glitters that I have here. I don't have a huge amount because they do tend to come with a lot of the pigment sets um, and usually when they come with the pigment sets it's usually three or four pigments or it's usually two or three pigments in a set and then one glitter to go with it and um, so there is less glitters than these guys but some of my faves are um, Reflex Pearl. It's a gorgeous kind of just see-through sparkle and um, so you can put it over anything you want. And my absolute fave, which I use as a highlighter, this is from the Trolls collection, but they do sell it all the time. This is Reflex Teal, Transparent Teal, I think it is. Um, I use this as a face highlighter when I want to feel like a unicorn, which is always fun. And um, Reflex Gold is also lovely because it just has a slight bit of a gold hint off it when it's on. Um, and then some normal glitters, gold glitter, um, this kind of blue glitter got some kind of grey glitter that kind of thing always fun to have 
And then my newest addition to my glitter collection, which is one of my favorite additions to my glitter collection, are these guys here. These are my apocalypse. Oh my god, sorry. I do apologize. I keep hitting everything. Um, these are my apocalyptic beauty glitters. Um, so they're kind of spooky themed. Um, you've got the likes of All Hallows Eve, which is like um bats and moons and crosses, I think. Um, just all spooky style. Um, you have got Dracula or Bella. Yeah, Bella it's called. Um, also bats and crosses, all um different shapes and stuff like that and different colours. Just to kind of represent each character from old um horror movies or just spooky kinds of things. So I love those. They're my newest edition and you will see them if you stay tuned and subscribe down below. You will see them coming up in a Halloween video actually. I have a few planned with those to put into just normal Halloween looks. Back here then I've got a gypsy shrine and um, this is a rainbow pink dust and I think it's called rainbow pink dust yes and um, just pretty iridescent pink it's a massive jar which I'll never ever get through but whatever and um, and then this is actually a sample I got from apocalyptic beauty with my order this I have two samples actually this is the heart of glass just hearts and kind of see-through iridescent kind of sparkly bits really pretty and this one here is wild magic which has got like leaves purples and greens dots and hexagons and swirls and stuff like that all magical 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 glitter um and yeah back also back there i'm not gonna pull now because i'll end up pulling everything out i do have samples from femme fatale cosmetics which was the first ever indie brand i ever bought from and they used to do sample packs so you could get like a sachet sample kind of like the apocalyptic beauty and it was basically just like a sample of certain ones and you could pick which ones you wanted it was like ten dollars or something like that to get them um, and I am end up getting two packs so I have them back there they're fun don't always use them used to always use them but they are fun so I keep them back there so let's move on to the next fun drawer so next up we have got our kind of cream shadows sticks liquid shadows um, single shadows, super shock shadows, that kind of thing. Um, random, very small palettes that I don't want to put in my palette drawer, that kind of thing. So we'll start at the back and work our way forward because you can't really see at the back there. But over here, I've got cream shadows in pots, the likes of my MAC Paint pots. Um, groundwork, I'll show you, is my fave forever and always because it's just so easy. Super soft brown, really nice. You can just pop it over the eye to kind of look like you've got something on, but also kind of not look like you have anything on um and then just add something to it and then there's also some catrice ones back there i've also got a nina i think it's called the name of the brand some essence ones as well um don't use them all the time i use groundwork a lot but i don't use use all the time but they are back there so i know all my creams are back there then back here i have got this is a paint it's like a navy kind of paint that i got in a glossy box from mina as well um shadow paint I've also got an eye gloss back there from MAC. And then these guys here are all like small palettes. So I'll show you some of them. I've got a Makeup Revolution one. I've got just some random H&M ones that I've never really used. These I got in the sleek, whoops, advent calendar. And these are like super mini versions of their eye divine palettes. So I think are so cute. They're actually so handy because I wanted this one, is it? Yes, yeah, Storm I wanted for ages and I just never ended up buying it. And then I got a mini, mini one. They're like, they're literally tiny. They're smaller than my nail. That's how small they are. But that's actually fine for me because you can obviously see how much of this that I have. And um, this is an all gold one. This is the gleaming in gold, all shimmer kind of gold palette. Love it. Um, yeah, they're really fun. I have a couple of them. I think I have the um, night version one or I don't know what it's called um but that's what those are back there then moving up this side here we've got um stick shadows cream sticks and liquid shadows so liquid shadows here these are the beauty bay um living my best light liquid crystal shadow this is in the shade opal I've got opal peach quartz which is a gorgeous kind of peachy duochrome shade and then this one here which is fluorite which is a kind of green to purple duochrome as far as I can see and then next to those guys are my M -M -M Mitchell like toppers Um, we've got mirror metal and mama they came out with beauty bay as well Um, and they're just beautiful really really pretty kind of colors Um, this is like an antique gold this reflects pink and this reflects like a bluey green and they're really nice you can pop them over liner or over shadows 
Um, I've got an Urban Decay Moon Dust Liquid Shadow, which I like. It's a bit chunky, but I can get away with it. It's fine. Um, and then this is my MAC Beam Time Dazzle Liquid. Um, this one here is from... Where are you from? I got this in a glossy box. Kaleido Cosmetics. Not to be confused with Kaleido's makeup. Um, Astro Light. Space Highlighter. I don't know. I put it in here because I feel like I would use that more as a shadow than an actual um, highlighter because it's way too dark for me. And then coming up here, we've got some like Catrice pencils, um, Kiko pencils, which are beautiful as well. They're really nice. They last really well on the eyes. And then all here are my NYX jumbo pencils, which I love as bases under shadow. I tend not to use them on their own. I tend to use them under shadow as bases. Moving on to this side here are all my single shadows. This is a bit of a mess only because single shadows are difficult. I can depot like my matte ones, but some of them I can't. They're like Catrice baked shadows and stuff like that. Some single shadows here. So I just kind of keep them in here. I do grab them every now and again, especially when I'm just doing my makeup for like work or something like that. I might grab something. This is Day Gleam Press Pigment from MAC, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, just some random bits, mostly Catrice because they do sell a lot of single shadows. So works out quite well that way. And then in here, I do have one single shadow in here only because it couldn't fit it back there. And um, this is the Cafon D or KVD Vegan Beauty Metal Crush Shadow in the shade Thrasher, which I adore. It's the most beautiful worn gold, like yellow, almost green gold. It's so stunning. I did do a autumn look, I think last year or the year before last with that. So I can link that down below if you would like as well. Um, and then these guys here, these are two... I actually keep forgetting I have this one. Um, This one here I got first. So this is the Kiko Milano. It's a magnetic eyeshadow in the shade 01. And it's this beautiful taupey shade. So basically the way they work is that it's magnetic. So the bottom of the pan is actually a magnet. and Or it's metal. I can't remember. I think it's a magnet. And inside the shadow there's like, like magnetic ions or something like that. So you can actually scoop the whole thing out and then put your the thing on it like it doesn't fall out or anything like that and it's kind of loose and um, very weird it keeps its shape as well in the palette and they're so pigmented and so soft to touch there's very strange that's a nice taupey shade um which is fun and then the first place I actually did it was mac but then they came out last year for christmas with this guy this is called swing on a star this is called spellbinder shadows what they call that and this one's like a black with a green in it they did come out with a collection of these first and then for Christmas they came out with more of them and this one is beautiful. It's sold out like instantly. I'm pretty sure I got bought the last one in my store. It's this beautiful black with like a green and gold sort of fleck through it. Beautiful. I actually might do a smoky eye with that soon because that's very nice. And then all here are just my super shock shadows. So I've got some of the Disney ones that they came out with originally. So this one is Under the Sea beautiful minty shade nice fiery kind of minty shade and um, a favorite of mine is this one almost there which is from i think uh prince and the frog as far as i can remember and this is just the most gorgeous kind of warm brown so sparkly it looks wet on the eyes it's beautiful i love love this color um, and then I have some fun ones. I've got like I bought a set with kind of neutral ones in a summer matte and some have a sheen to them. This one is one of my faves as well. I could use this in one of my looks too. Um, for Halloween coming up, this one here is called Fizz. Beautiful, gorgeous lime green. We all know how I love a lime green. And yeah, just some, some fun bits. We've got like a purple and a coral and more pinks and purples here. Just fun bits. Let's move on to the next row before I keep dilly dallying okay and then next up is probably not so fun but still very very much used drawer it's probably the drawer i open the most every day apart from like my skin drawer um this is all my liners mascaras brows primers anything like that so again we'll work on the back here because they are kind of hard to see all in here are just mascaras and um, i have like little ones my current one that i've actually started just using as of today was the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Lash, which I'm actually quite liking. Um, I have a small version of that. I've got full size ones as well. This is an Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Curl. Um, I've also got like glitter ones as well. Um, this is from Academy of Colour. Just ones I got in like Ivan calendars. They're fun in case I need them for whatever reason. And then over here are just pencils that I'm not currently using or maybe aren't my favourite, but I still like to have them. But what is in here, I'll just go around the other side. 
um, are my cream gel liners um, from Colourpop and I do have a lot of those. I just can't fit them in my thingy up here so I pop them in here and I know they're in here so I do tend to grab them a lot. Lots of nice colours. I've got like pink, purple, green, yellow, orange, most of the colours of the rainbow anyway. Um, just to use in different looks because they're super bright and super pigmented and they stay really well. Then on this side, not so fun, this is the primer drawer. Um, I've got lots of different primers in here, but I do have my faves. So we've got um, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and my Too Faced Glitter Insurance. Love these two. Um, Smashbox Lip Primer, it's okay. It's not, I like something that has a little bit more tack to it. I find some things don't stick as well. Even matte shades don't stick as well to it for me anyway. Um, my MAC 24 Hour Eye Base, love. Urban Decay Primer Potion, love. NYX Glitter Primer love for doing my anything with shimmer or glitter and then my p louise base it's grand it stays quite well it's tacky enough for me um it does crease a little bit after a while during the day about um so after about six hours it would crease on me and um, which my others don't do so i tend to use this a lot more for my cut creases which i do love and you'll also notice here i've got a backup of my 24 hour eye base from mac and a backup of my nyx glitter primer which my friend actually bought for me i also do have some samples of urban decay primer potions in here i've actually got two sets of them actually yes what is in here actually this is original and sin and i'm assuming this is the same original and sin i should actually use these because i t try to use up my samples as much as i can Ooh before I use my full size products. If I keep banging off my mic, I do apologize guys. It's like literally right there, which I'm not used to having it there. My elbow keeps hitting off it when I'm grabbing stuff. And then on this side here, we've got some liquid liners, glitter liners, that kind of thing. So we've got some collection glam crystal liners, which are fabulous. I've got some Urban Decay Heavy Metal glitter liners, which are fabulous. And um, we've just got the likes of say, um, my little liner pens that I maybe don't use all the time, my MAC Liquid Last. Um, I've got my Cap on D24 or D tattoo liner. I've got some silver liners, gold liners, coloured liners. I've got a pink liner. I've got a yellow liner. Just loads of different ones in here. This one here, actually, I do want to get a bit of use of. This is LA Splash as well, which I do love. This is their Wickedly Divine Eyeliner in the shade Rosaline. Um, it's got a cute little diamond on top as well. It's a beautiful rose kind of, rose gold sort of colour definitely like super glittery i'd probably use it over something either a shadow or a liner if i wanted it as a liner but it would be a fun bit of a liner you can kind of see him there he's lovely i got that in my glossy box advent calendar which i love and then down here again not so fun brows um lots of brow stuff i've got some brow powders here loads of um benefit brow stuff that i don't use all the time because I have the shade number two, which is a bit dark for me right now after just getting my hair done. The Benefit Cabral I was using a lot when my roots had grown out, which I do really like. I didn't think I would like so much, but I actually have grown to love it. Um, what are you then? This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. Super skinny pencil. Really, really, really teeny weeny skinny. And you cannot see that. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? There you go, you can see it now. So it's like so tiny. I have actually used this and it's really nice. It's actually a good colour for me right now with my hair so light. Um, and then this one here is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This one here is one of those kind of triangular shaped ones, which is fun. And I've also got, what are you? This is the 24 hour brow setter, which I haven't used. It's just a clear brow gel because I have a clear, well, I say clear. It's no longer clear. It was clear at one point in my life. Um, and I have some of the Gimme Brow back there. I've also got this guy, which I haven't actually used. This is the 3D Brow Tones, which I do want to get a bit of use out of. So hopefully I can. Um, but yeah, I basically my mom got me a set of Benefit Brow products and the lightest shade they had was number two, which was fine. Um, I've also got my MAC uh, Shape and Shade Brow Pen. Loads of different little bits, Catrice stuff, some random brow pencils in there that I use. Just lots of weird stuff in here. Um, and my clear brow gel is always a fave of mine anyway. So I do try to have a few of those. Then on this side, we've got some um, gel liners or water activated liners. Anything in a pot liner. So we've got like Bobbi Brown gel liner, Inglot 77 liner, which is famous. 
everywhere pretty much i have a mac one but i think i left it in my boyfriend's house i have got a lot of like ingot shade this is a green this is a purple i've got a red somewhere yes a red i've also got a white and a darker green this is my white um those ones i wouldn't say they necessarily dried up but i definitely have to use some duraline with them duraline is a mixing medium it's this guy here um and it basically reactivates your gel liners and makes them nice and fluid i actually do tend to use it with my black one even though it's not completely dried up and um, it just gives me more of a fluid line when i use it and then we've got the silver beauty um hydra liner some of them are the effects liners like the uv ones those kinds of ones and yeah they're fun um i do like them i'm still working with them because i I'm, I'm trying to find a good consistency to where they don't crack on me so hopefully that works out okay okay and next up moving into some cheek products i've got my blushes all in one drawer and you can tell i love a blush i do like a blush quite a bit um yeah I have a bit of blush problem and i have backups of things that i don't really need but sure look i actually do use them quite a bit so i'm not i'm not that upset about it so this is a very weird mix match drawer again this is all made by me and um, these dividers just using those dividers i got off amazon i've just constructed it in a way that everything fits really nicely um not much room for anything else which is good Um, means i'm not allowed to buy anything else unless i really want to squeeze it in so let's again start with the back back here i've got either small little blush palettes so the likes of this guy here which is from collection it's just like a it says shimmer and shades but there's no shimmer they're all matte um kind of things my bobby brown um shimmer brick is back there as well and then my my loves of my life basically um let me get one out that's not ruined and hit pan this is a sleek blush by three this is the candy collection limited edition this was the sweet cheeks but i've got a lot of them back there that are normal range but they're basically like oh let me just not blind you um they're basically just like three palette um a little trio of blushes which are lovely different tones this is different texture so this has a bit of a shimmer this is a matte and this is a cream and um, some are all um powder with a mix of like matte and shimmer some are all cream i have some that are all cream and they're beautiful they're my favorite like things to go for straight away and if anyone wants to venture into blush and they don't know really what they like they're so handy because i think they're like 12 euros or like 13 euros for three blushes which is really good um back here let me just go over this side again we have got some sticks some stick blushes um so i've got my mac quick trick stick um this is in the shade softly does it and whiff of pink so on one side it's a highlighter stick which i love and then on the other side gives a nice wet look to the cheeks not super metallic kind of highlighter this side is a beautiful bright pink which i quite like as well love that in the summer then i've also got my fenty what are you called matchstick shimmer skin stick in the shade yacht life which is kind of like the nars orgasm um, which I really like. It's a bit more golden than that, but yeah, love it. Speaking of Nara's orgasm, I do have a very small one that my friend gave me when she was decluttering her makeup. She got it in like a glossy box, I think. It's super teeny weeny and there's not much left in it. Um, but I do really nice that it's like this. It's one of the Nara's multiples and it's in the shade Orgasm, which I quite like because I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a massive fan of the Orgasm colour in itself. Um, I have things quite like it, so I don't like want to pay the money for it. But the likes of the creams and maybe the highlighter and stuff like that, I would like, you know, that kind of way. And then I've got these, which I used to use all the time. These are my Benefit Tints, the cheek and lip tint. Some of them have kind of completely worn off the names. So yeah, just ignore that. Um, this is the, what are you called? This one is Chata Tint. This one is, I had Benetint. Tint. It's not Benetint. Tint. It is posy tint i think is the bright pink one i'm not sure exactly but they are so beautiful so nice so natural on the skin i love that cha cha tint i love beyond words um and then over here we've got small little square kind of container so i've got my nars jewel intensity um blush duo in the shade fervor we've got another one that i love which is my catrice light and shadow contour blush and that's in the shade Rose Propose. Love him. It looks deep, but it's not that dark on me. Um, some limited edition ones. I've got a Clinique one. Um, this is in the shade Precious Posy. Got this in a Clinique uh, Advent Calendar. 
I always would invest in an advent calendar if you're looking to collect some makeup because I have collected a lot over the years because of advent calendars. This is a NYX blush in the shade High Definition Blusher in the shade Summer, which is um, a beautiful coral shade. Then working my way down the sides here, we have got a lot of Benefit ones. I do have more Benefit ones. So this is Benefit Dandelion. This is my very, very old. You'll see how old. Look how old that brush is. Uh, that is clean, by the way. That brush is clean. Um, yeah, can you see product in there? Because I can just about see it. I, I'm kind of thinking about scraping it all out and putting it into a little container. Because it's kind of hard to get it out at this point. Um, and then I've got a fresh one there because I do love Dandelion so much. Uh, this is the Coralista which is a nice kind of orangey sort of shade. And there's no brush off that because that was actually my friend's as well. She was getting rid of it, so I took it off her because she didn't want it anymore, so I wanted it. Um, and this is Bella Bamba, which I do use quite a bit as well. This is more of a brighter rosy pink. Um, I do have a cheek parade down below, which I will get to later on. Then what have I got? Oh, this I love, 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 love. Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Melon Pop. Oh, so nice. I want a lot of these. If I'm to expand my blush collection, this is what I'm getting, definitely. Then all here are all MAC. So in the front here, I've got two extra dimension blushes. I've got Fairly Precious, which is probably the most popular one. And into the pink, which is more pink. Fairly Precious is a nice, very soft peach shade. And then the into the pink is a very soft pink shade. Um, I do have quite light blushes for myself. I, do, I don't mind a strong blush, which you will see as well. But I do like a light blush as well for my skin. Then one of my all time faves, forever and always, always bring this on holidays with me. This is my Warm Soul Mineralized Blush from MAC. Beautiful, 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 neutral color. Goes with everything, any lip you wanna wear. This goes with, I brought this away on holidays with me and wore it with an abundance of lips. And it went with them all. I've actually worn that as bronzer as well. More mineralized ones, we've got, um, this one is Hey Coral Hay, which is more of a kind of orange, very soft orange. And then, no, this is Love Me, Love Me, Like Me, Like Me, Love Me, Like Me, Love Me, which is the um, orange one. And then Hey Coral Hey is the coral, obviously. And then just here we've got some more Max. I've got Margent. I think they discontinued, which is very sad because I do love this colour. I've got uh, Modern Mandarin, which is a brighter sort of orange. And we've got Peachy Keen, which is my version of Orgasm. Probably a bit more pink than Orgasm, but it's the kind of version that I have that's very similar. Um, some cream blushes that I do quite like. Lazy Sunday is always going to be a favourite for me. It's a very light pink. And then along here, I've got kind of blush samples that I have over the years. I've got these guys, which are the Pot Rouge Lips and Cheeks. And um, this is Fresh Melon from Bobbi Brown. They're both from Bobbi Brown, by the way. And this one is Pale Pink, which is not nothing. There's nothing pale about that colour in the slightest. But anyway. This is those two. They're very nice, lovely. I haven't used cream blush for like, I used to only use cream blush and not really powder. Now I've kind of gone on to powder for a while, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I might go back to cream. Um, and then this guy, this is fun. Um, I bought this around about Halloween last year from Makeup Revolution on Beauty Bay. And this is just a cheek blush. This is called Blood of My Enemies, as far as I can remember. It's very red, it stains like a bitch. And um, the packaging is so cool. I used it in my red color series look, I think. And did I? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did because this is the only red, red blush that I have. Um, and you need the tiniest amount. This is going to last me the, in the entire rest of my life and probably my grandkids as well. Okay, and then next is a drawer that I think everyone tends to love looking through people's highlighter and contour drawer, particularly the highlighters. And I have a lot of highlighters. Um, I have a thing about highlighters at the minute. I just keep buying them and I can't stop myself. But anyway, so all along this row here, again, same dividers in all these drawers. Um, all along this row here to there, this stick guy here, is all contours and bronzers. Um, basically, I have kind of contoury shades in the front and bronzery shades in the back. We've got the likes of saying my uh, Huda Tan Tour, which I do love, especially now that I have a little bit more of a tan. Love him, he's very nice. Um, another fave of mine is definitely my Fenty Sunstalker bronzer in the shade In the Sun. Can't get it open, there we go. He is fabulous, I've been loving him. 
and then up here we've got more contour shades so we've got the likes of my um next skin contour which doesn't look like contour but today's a promise my sepia from mac which came out with one of the collections which i love i don't use it very often but i do love my benefit dallas bronzer which i always love even though i wouldn't it's it's a benefit dallas blush a lot of people do use it as a blush because it has a bit of a pink undertone in it but on me it looks more like a contour bronzer kind of style and then let's let's go around i'll go around you on this side so we can chat a bit more so back here just because i can't fit them anywhere this is my jeffree star skin frost which i have yes we do not review people on this channel we review makeup i love this highlighter i can't help it i have it someone bought it for me i can't help it and this is the shade ice cold i'm still going to use it maybe not so much on my channel but i am always going to use this because i do really like it and the money has been spent it's in my collection what am i going to do about it so i just move him out of the way just so you can see so back here we've got some like loose highlighters and um, some cream so like my luna from mac which i do love i've got that um weird jelly highlighter from um rimmel um we have got let me see if i can fish him out my ingla sparkling dust in the shade 07 which is stunning which i will actually show you so it looks like that it's the most beautiful like ultra beaming glow that you can think of and then working our way up this row here. So back here we've got some KVD Vegan Beauty and um, Metal Crush Highlighters, which I do have in a palette, some of these, especially this one I think I have in a palette. But again, it was bought for me, so I do keep the big size as well. It's nice to show the big size instead of just a palette. That one is Rose Shock. Yes, Rose Shock. This one here is Gravitron, which is like yellow, but it reflects pink. Fabulous. This one here then is the Metal Crush highlighter in the shade gold school which is a white that has a super strong gold reflect off it one of my fave fave faves which is my wet and wild blossom glow highlighter from oh there you go blossom glow highlighter love him and then i have two makeup geeks i'm quite literally going through this entire drawer i, I feel apart from the back but i'm definitely going through a good bit of it i have two of these one was bought for me and one i bought for myself so i have the shade Glitz, there you go, right there. If you can get them frame, Carla, that'd be fabulous. Um, Glitz, which is a bit more of a pink. Um, it's not a duochrome, it just is a pink. has a pink undertone to it, which is really nice. Then this one is a moon phase, which is kind of like a blue. Yeah, I'd say like a blue, maybe a leaning a little bit green sort of highlight, but they're really pretty. I've got my Kiko Ocean Feel Highlighter in the shade Vintage, Ro Vil Vintage Golden Rose love this particularly when i'm a little bit more tanned and moving up this is my carl lagerfeld which i adore it's the most beautiful gold on my skin moving back here then we have some liquid highlighters so we've got the likes of say stick highlighters Um, these are fabulous these are from kiko the metal fusion highlighting drops love the ooh, love these fabulous and um, more sticks I have this guy, which is also from the Halloween collection from Makeup Revolution. I'll just quickly show you because he is fun and he's actually stunning on. Um, this is the Creature of the Night, as far as I can remember. Um, liquid highlighter uh, goes with that blush from the other drawer. And it's just the most beautiful gold. I just think it's really nice. It's so pretty on the skin. It stays on really well. And then moving through here, we've got Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder. Um, you will have seen a lot of these in my videos you can always go through and search i think if you hit search it'll go through my um description box as well to find anything that i use that has that word in it so if you search some of these i'm sure it will probably pop up this one is a love of mine as well this is my fenty diamond bomb highlighter in the shade how many carats just the white one or the clear one as i like to call it because it is very much see-through um i have also got a fenty um kilowatt double highlighter this is lightning dust and fire crystal so lightning dust and fire crystal and um, really nice super soft colors but also quite sparkly this is my catrice very broken as you can see but i do love it so much and i'm i can't see myself getting through this anytime soon um my what is it called 
mineral highlight mineral glow highlighting powder um, in the shade light infusion love him i've used him a good bit a few here from mac then this is a this is the gleam tones powder came out with their vibe tribe collection i have a back of this because i adore adore this powder and i would probably buy another one um, just to have it it's the most stunning kind of bronzer highlighter blush all in one for me that I tend to put all over my face and I end up beaming but I look fabulous I must say and then we have got the extra mention highlighter in the shade show gold this is the Christmas collection but it does come in normal range usually I don't know if I have it in stock at the minute because I haven't really seen it in stock in store but yeah it kind of reflects it's like a nude that reflects pink kind of like a pink and gold I've got a couple then here. This is the from the Star Trek collection. I will keep this forever and always. Because my dad's favourite um, TV show was Star Trek. He was a Trekkie. And yeah, so this one is the Lunar Luster. Um, I do really like it. I don't use it a whole lot because, it, again, it is from a collection. And yeah, but I do love it when I do use it, especially in my own time. Then I've got, I'm not going to tilt this too much because this has, you've probably seen this before. It kind of fell out. I'll just show you. It fell out which makes me nervous, but whatever. And um, this is Double Gleam from MAC, also one of my faves, very similar to the Catrice Mineral Highlighting Powder. Um, this one here is quite similar, but he is lovely. And then two more, I've got my Soft Frost Extra Mention Highlighter, which is like a white that reflects purple. You might not be able to see it, but you might. There we go. And he's fabulous, beautiful dual chrome. And then this is one of their Mineralized Skin Finish kind of, I think they call them pinwheels or something like that. I can't really remember. And um, the little quad anyway. And this is the lightest one. Really like it. Super pretty. Um, really fun. A little bit deep for me on this side, but these are fabulous. Newest in my collection. I literally only just put him in my drawer because I just got some footage of him, which I like to film my products before I put them in my drawers just so I have them on record in case I'm just doing a voiceover and I just want to put the product in. This is Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek and yeah i'm i've tried it on once and i'm very excited to get used to this i kind of actually forgot i had it because i kept forgetting i got it just before i went away and yeah this was uh i'm, I'm excited very excited and then back here i've got some liquid kind of body highlighters these are like glitter like full-on like glitter glitter kind of things got them in primark they're fun haven't really used them yet um let me just move some of these out of the way so i can get you out this is my sleek solstice palette love always love this palette just get a good bit of use out of that i'm going to fit this back in now watch another kind of newer edition but i've grown to love this is my wet and wild hello halo blush lighter this is the one what are you called highlight bling it's the lightest one as far as i can think it's just got, got a highlighter and a blush together both shimmer these are also from wet and wild these are my liquid highlighters um we have got holographic which is like a white purple kind of like the soft frost from mac and we have got a halo goodbye which is like a nude slightly pinky shade liquid highlighters always really nice and then just down here i've got some makeup revolution that i got in advent calendar so they're just kind of their baked highlighters again i don't use it them like every single time i do a makeup or anything like that i brought this one away with me which was quite nice it's got a little bit of hard pan though which i need to get rid of but very nice so that is a very fun highlighter and contour drawer okay so moving into some very fun bits um this is usually the bit i like to watch from people's uh collection videos or decoder videos or anything like that and this is my first palette drawer so this is a lot of my single shadows um smaller kind of palettes that kind of thing i do have some small palettes in my next one but there's a reason why everything is in the spot that they're in so all back here i'm not going to pull them out because they're quite heavy and um, but i am going to do a collection video on these separately so you can see them individually these are all my ingla palettes i'm going to count them actually just so i have it for reference for myself so i have 12 palettes and um, i have got three 20 palettes i have got three five palettes and what does that leave me with six um of the normal 10 palettes i've got two flexi palettes which i usually have them empty and um, so this just has some blushers in it and then this one has some um i was doing face tracks so i have my cotton pad or q-tips in there and then this is one of their eco palettes which i quite like because they're very light compared to the rest of the palettes these are quite heavy 
so I like to travel with the eco palette a little bit better and it's eco friendly which is good um under there as well that's just a mtz palette just in case i just got it because it was on sale why not i've also got my witch please little duo palette from Inglot as well which has my little swarovski skull on it that i got around halloween love um i think he's so pretty and i just keep him in there i just wanted it because it said witch please on it it's got a skull on it but i have used it once or twice but i love it just to have um and then this weird thing in here is from the nico panda collection that was out years ago and um, it's just a little face quad i think if i was decluttering anything i'd probably get rid of this but i'm not doing declutter right now it's got a blush not for me anyway um but these colors are really really pretty it's just i d I'd never actually used it i just have it in here for no reason and then coming down this side here we've got all of my small little palettes so i've got my little um mac Ones these have got the Dazzle Shadow Extreme shadows in them. Um, I have a couple of those. A little MAC 9 palette. This is my Love Lux Beauty quad, the Bittersweet quad. And then all of these, I've got my Coral Obsessions. I've got my Gemstone Obsessions. I've got my Smoky, Electric Emerald, Ruby, which is upside down, that's annoying. It's good of you, thank you. Um, my Neon Green, Neon Pink and neon orange here good few of those i have a video on every single one of those huda palettes by the way i actually have a video from the white from the love looks beauty down which i will leave a playlist maybe up in the cards i'm not sure i'll leave it something up there probably my huda ones and um, because i've done two looks on palettes on all of them so you can have a little look at those then on this side here we have got some random bits this is from fuchsia makeup which is no longer going anymore since the covid hit and just a little quad of shimmer shadows which i think are really pretty they're lovely never really used them that much but they are nice in here this is a very dirty z palette so please excuse me these are my all of these guys are my colored rain shadows and then this guy is one trichrome from love looks beauty that i just couldn't fit anywhere else except in here so that's where he lives um yes and then i have two make week palettes this one is empty at the minute um because i did get it in their mystery box i got an empty palette to put shadows into um but i've since put the shadows in with my other color so i just have an empty one just in case i need it for whatever reason it's always nice to have an empty palette in case i do get more shadows or i need to travel with it as well then this is one their stroke of midnight palette from christmas not last year the year before last i think um lovely really nice quality i have that brought this away with, on holidays with me because it's actually a, it's it's my kind of little neutral palette if i'm to pick a neutral palette this is the kind of color scheme i would tend to go for because it just suits me a little bit better then some things you might not even have seen on this channel yet this is a little bundle that came in from ColourPop. this is their like neons with their press glitters the reason why i have a lot of press glitters is because it came in the bundle and i was curious about their press glitters i don't always love a press glitter, glitter but i'm not I'm also not against a press glitter. I don't mind press glitters not in palettes like this where these are all separate. Um, all of these are matte shades as well, which I want to do a look using some of these. But the press glitters I have used in some of my colour series looks, um, again, I'm not opposed to them. I just think it's nice to have them separate so that people have the choice. Another colour pop palette then is my Disney Designer. I also have a three looks one palette up with this and I think a palette bingo. Um so yeah also a nice neutral palette again a bit of me for a neutral palette another neutral palette which i actually just posted recently this is my huda desert dusk palette love it does have a press glitter in it which i actually quite like the press glitter in it. i think it's really nice and goes really well with the palette so i do get a good bit of use out of that and it's just a really nice neutral color scheme with some color in it and it's very warm but warm in the way i would actually wear it not necessarily a warm neutral palette i tend not to go for but something like that i do really like and then my newest Huda edition is my Mercury Retrograde palette. I haven't, I've swatched it once and that is it. Just the once. That is all, that is all it has gotten off me is one little swatch session. And I will be doing a first impressions probably next year, <laughs> which sounds weird that I have this in my collection. I'm not actually doing a video on it yet, but I just haven't got time to do it right now. So it has to wait and it's stunning. I'm dying to bust into this. this big boy here this is just my mac double palette oh there's my blush gone because i don't have space for you 
Um, this is, I could put it in my Z pad actually, but this is all my Mac single shadows or any ones that I've depotted. I don't bust into it all the time, but there might be the odd color that I feel like I want to use. So I do tend to use it. Then I've got my ColourPop Build Your Own palette. And yes, it's a jumbled mess because I kind of like it as a jumbled mess because I feel like it makes me put colors together that I might not all the time. Um, sometimes when it's a bit too rainbow order, even though I love it and I find it very satisfying when things are in rainbow order, doesn't make me that inspired because I tr I tend to put all the, the blues together and the greens together and the pinks together. But like this, like already I'm seeing that yellow to pink kind of gradient going on here. Lovely. And um, this kind of green with the silvery kind of colors here and the blue very pretty mint and the purple you know what I mean so you can kind of put your colors together in a more interesting way that way and then lastly in this drawer I do apologize this video is so long it's probably going to be really long I'm so sorry Um, these are my makeup geek palettes so these are just my normal shimmers nothing too fancy about them and um, I've also got two blushes and my Nabla um, Gotham contour shade Um, nothing too fancy about them they're just really nice shimmers that they normally do this one here is the more fancy shimmers. These are all the duochromes and the foils. You can see I have a preference. I do like these more. Um, yeah, they're beautiful, really nice. And then this is my entire matte palette. So you can definitely guess I'm more of a cool gal. I do like my cooler tones a lot more than anything else. So I do have that and I have a few little pops of color in there as well. So let's move on to the pre-made palettes. Okay, and then moving on to a very fun drawer. This is my pre-made palettes. Um, so I've got a good mix of things in here and a few new additions that I've been using recently um, and some that I haven't even used yet. So let's start, we'll start back here. So this here, I'm not gonna show every single palette, but this is my very beloved Meld Muerte palette, which I've done a three looks on palette. I've done a palette bingo on this. Um, one of my all-time faves and then I've got the likes of some or I've got Urban Decay Naked 3 I've also got my Pastel Goth which I still have in the box for some reason I don't know why this is the Pastel Goth which I really like as well sorry I'm gonna try and get you into focus um he's lovely um really nice colors really nice shades really nice tones haven't really used it too much because of all the KVD um the Cavani kind of drama um, I didn't really want to use it on my channel, but I have it still because I did buy it. I paid my money for it, so I'm going to keep it, obviously. There's no point in buying something and then binning it. You're still giving them the money. doesn't make a difference. So I have it. I kept it. Anywho. Um, and then let's see. What have I got? So these are like some. This is like a beauty bit palette. I got free with an order for some reason. Just they must have had a gift or purchase going on. Um, that was some stickers that just went flying. So it's just like a bit colourful kind of summary. Really nice, some nice colours. I have used it a little bit here and there. Um, not too extreme with it. Then we've got my MAC It's Designer palette. It looks like this. Super nice, fun, bright colours. Some shimmers, some duochromes. Just some nice bright and neon shades from the MAC palette. Um, and then all here are my sleek palettes, my big kind of sleek palettes. So we've got the likes of the Acid palette, which is one of the... The first big kind of products that I got or was bought for me for, um, I think it was for Christmas or my birthday or something like that, um, was the first like big thing that was bought for me that it was definitely like a YouTube thing that I seen on YouTube and someone bought it for me. Um, then here, I've been doing lots of videos on these. You will have seen this. These are my Kaleidos makeup palettes. I've got Cyber Bronze, Astro Pink and Dior Neon. And if they come with more palettes this size, because I really like the size and the little color schemes of these. That's the Cyber Bronze there. It's so pretty. There you go. Um, yeah, I would definitely absolutely 100% buy them because they're so, so pretty. i um, not going to show you them all, but yeah, so nice. You can check out my channel. I've got... Um, two looks on palettes and first impressions and I will have a multi palette bingo using all these coming up soon in the front here um, I just have some random bits this is just from Boots this is a Slytherin palette because I am a Slytherin um, I just bought it because it's fun cool and nice colours nice tones of colours in this um, I haven't really used it too much but something that I feel like would be just nice for my own personal use not necessarily on YouTube um, this is a I got this in a advent calendar I think this is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette and this is the Warm Neutrals. Probably not the palette I would have chosen out of all of the... Um, oh, that was my computer. 
oh someone commented on one of my videos thank you whoever that was um i can't see from here so i, I can't tell um so yeah that is it i probably would have picked either a cooler one or a colorful one but it's nice to have and it is a really nice palette i've used them and these guys here then are some pressed glitter kind of palettes um cream glitter palette is what it's called it's from nyx the sprinkle town collection that came out with for christmas you can't even see i do apologize that's them there um, very fun, very nice, some nice colours in it. Some of them aren't eye safe, so use at your own discretion if you do have them. But yeah, quite nice. Then getting back to some fun stuff here. So this is my classic horror from LA Splash. I will be doing a at least a three looks one palette on this, I think, definitely. Look how fun, so fun. It's all horror themed and the names are all like psycho and toxic and zombie and nightmare and all things fun and horror that I do love. So I think around October time, I'm gonna do a three looks one palette on that. Um, I'm just gonna move these all over. This is my Fenty Galaxy palette. I do keep the packaging because it's all glittery. Um, and the outer packaging of this gets like fingerprinty, so I think the box is prettier anyway. This is how it looks. These are all kind of topper shades. Think the um, Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows, that kind of texture. Very nice, very pretty. I've used them a good bit, especially the blues I used in my um, blue colour series look, the monochromatic blue look that I did. And then we've got the Christmas Morning Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I will be doing a probably three looks on Paula, and I'm definitely think I'm doing a first impressions on this. I have it on my list anyway. This is how she looks, and she is stunning. I've wanted this palette forever and always since I've seen it on the Beans channel. Um, I just really wanted it and I think it's so, so pretty. I, ooh, that's a loud motorcycle. Okay. Um, I just think it's so fun. I can't wait to get into it. And the shimmers in this palette are like the, the, the most stunning shimmers I'm pretty sure I've ever used. Um, Kaleidos are definitely a close second, but these are definitely, definitely up there. And then you'll notice something here that I did mention in my makeup wish list video that I did end up buying in the end, which I did put a note in that video. Um, I bought it. I bought the Moon Spell palette. Couldn't resist. And it's so stunning. It looks like a book. Look at it. It's a book. It's a spell book. Completely looks like a book. And this is it here. So you can see the colours. Let me get rid of that. So you can actually see the colours there. So stunning. Like I said in that video, it is a little bit deeper in real life than it shows up in pictures that, like the promo pictures and stuff like that for us. So I actually quite like that. And um, the shimmers are stunning. I've swatched it a little bit. I'll probably do a three looks on palette at least with this in October maybe. Um, just because it's moon spell, it's kind of witchy themed. I think it'll be fun to add that in there. I'm adding more videos to my list of videos that I've already added to. So count you guys, count yourselves lucky here. And then down there is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Ibiza palette. It's just a small kind of shadows, like shadow pans and loads of different colours. It's not the rainbow one. It definitely has a good mix of colours in it though. I did bring this on holidays with me and it's very fun and it worked quite well for me. I think it's quite nice. Um, not the most amazing formula I've ever used in my entire life, but it worked really well and I really like the colours and I got a good few looks out of it. And then back here you'll see some things that I've definitely done lots of videos on. So I've got my three Juvia's Place palettes. We've got the Deuce. Looks like this. We have got the Saharan 2. Looks like this. Sorry they're out of focus but I can't actually go down any lower than I am right now without moving. Um, and then this is the Zulu which looks like this. If you want to see videos, two looks on palettes, three looks on palettes, um, palette bingos, multi palette bingos. I have it all on these. You can look those up. And then two, three more, sorry, three more palettes from the store. So this one here I bought and I'm definitely going to be doing a first impressions and a three looks one palette on this. This is the Give Me Glow Grunge palette. This is actually definitely something that I wanted. And look how fun, look how fun that packaging is. I, I do apologise, but I must show. Look at it. It's just a grunge dream. It's a 90s grunge like the names is like 90s nirvana teenage dirtbag smells like teen spirit um underground punk everything oh love love the tones of the colors again two shimmers and they're beautiful i cannot wait to dip into this palette again i haven't actually used it on my eyes anything that i'm going to do first impressions on i'm doing a first impressions because i haven't actually used them yet so 
yeah. Then I've got my September Rose Slush Palette, which I've done True Luxon palettes, I've done palette bingos, I've done everything with this palette. Um, it's the most beautiful rainbow palette that I own. Um, probably the only true rainbow palette that I actually own, I think. Um, yeah, and it's so stunning. The only thing it's missing is like a, a proper, proper red, but it's fine. I can get away with it and it's so beautiful. And then lastly for this drawer, this is the Mama Mitchell and Beauty Bay palette. Me, myself and Mama Mitchell. So on the one side here, you have, it's a, quite a chunky palette, but I do adore it. Um, you, on one side, you've got your kind of warmer tones. You get this mirror in the middle, which is detachable. And then on this side, you've got your kind of cooler, more grungy tones and deeper shades. So it's just a really fun palette. It has a bit of everything in it. If you're traveling or anything like that, it's really nice. Um, works really well. Colors are beautiful. I've done a four looks on palette with this because it is such a big palette. And I think I have done a, I haven't done a palette bingo with this actually, but I do have it on my list. I do remember writing it down. Um, so yeah, go check that one out. Okay, so this last drawer I'm not going to dwell on too much. Um, let me just kneel down a little bit here so I can ooh, see what I'm doing. Um, this is just my face palette drawer. So it's a lot of like my highlighters. It's a lot of my um, just cheek palettes in general. So some highlighter palettes I've got here is the Anastasia Moonchild glow kit we've got my huda winter highlight palette here which is a lot of duochromes i do like a duochrome highlighter i am one of those people and um, this is my benefit cheap braid i keep this in here because it's too big for any of the other drawers and um, so in this you have got hula hula light dandelion so i actually technically have three dandelions <laughs> um california and rock tour you get a little brush swab i haven't really been using the brush too much and He's lovely. You, if you have one cheek braid, you don't necessarily need them all unless you specifically want to collect them all. But a lot of them have the likes of Hula, Dandelion, um, usually like California or something like that. And they usually have something that's the same in each palette. So I only have one. This is my backup of my Gleam Tones powder that I just pop in here out of the way. And um, this is a number seven little cheek palette that I bought or that I got in a set and it's really really pretty very soft but really pretty this is when Tanya Burry used to do cosmetics this was also in a set a nice big set um bronzer blusher and a highlighter very nice um some Primark bits nothing too exceptional over here this is a MAC Christmas cheek palette it's a blusher highlighter and bronzer um, and then this guy is probably the newest thing that's in here belong to me got it in my glossy box this was my 25th day gift of my glossy box I can't get open this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess chisel palette and it's just a really nice contour bronzer and highlighting palette for me anyway and yeah I'll, I can use pretty much everything except the crown shade but I can find use for it um makeup artist after all so I can definitely get some use of it um yeah I just think they'll be pretty I can even use the highlighting powders they're not shimmery they're just like matte highlighters that brighten the skin and then two things back here this is my KVD Vegan Beauty uh, Fetish Cheek Palette. Came out one Christmas. It's got three, there's the Rose Shock again, three of the um, Metal Crush highlighters and then three matte blushes to kind of match them. Really nice. I have used this good bit. I'm pretty sure I used this in my orange um, colour series look. And then this last one here is my MAC Paint Stick Palette. So they do paint sticks like actually in a stick. Um, but a lot of makeup artists actually just depot them and put them into a palette anyway. So they actually came out with a whole palette of them. And I just think it's great for doing all my special effects, doing all anything that I just need some sort of cream base that's colourful or I can mix shades. You can see the dents here. I've just scraped a bit out to mix shades, make blood colours and kind of ghoulish sort of shades. This is a nice contour shade for doing Halloween as well. Just some really nice colours. Very handy to have if you're a makeup artist. And then I'm just going to really quickly run through this. So this is my um, lashes that are basically like like fashion lashes is what I would call them. So they're basically like weird looking eyelashes. Um, some have got lace on them. Some have got like glitter, rhinestones. I've got some paper lashes. You can see those ones right there. Right there. Um, have got funny patterns on some. I've got feathers over here. Um, I've got like some that are like St. Patrick's Day themed. I've got big massive ones down the back. I've got like spider web lashes that are like full of glitter. Definitely not eye safe and definitely probably going to be the most uncomfortable things ever. But I have them just in case I want them for a look, for a Halloween look, whatever it is. I know if I got rid of one of them, I'll probably need it for something. So that's why I'm not getting rid of it. So yeah, that's just my last drawer. I'm not going to go through it too much. That is the last drawer here. So 
let's get back to past Carla because I've already filmed that bit for the intro and yeah thanks for watching all this and I do apologize how long it is I'll try to cut it down as much as I can but it's quite rambly and that's what happens when you watch a palette or a collection video they're quite rambly and can't really do anything about it so let's go back to past Carla and see what she has to say I feel like a news reporter okay guys I hope you all enjoyed my other drawers um these are I keep saying drawers I keep just keep thinking of one drawer <laughs> um yeah so the, the those are the fun ones and um, those are like a lot of the color and everything like that like I said if there's anything in there let me know that you want to see in the comments down below um and yeah I love my drawers I love how I have them organized I only organized them just before um like our quarantine hit in Ireland so like March I like had them organized just before that started um, and I love how I have them organized. It's so much easier now. And the like dividers and everything that I have, they're all on Amazon, which I, if I can find them, it can be hard to find them. I kind of have to sometimes go looking every time I need to order them. Um, I will link them down below if you want me to. Um, and you can check them out because they're so handy and you can just make your own dividers as much as you need to. And yeah, I think that's everything I can think of. So yeah. Hit the thumbs up down below to let me know you like me and let me know you like my collection. Um, or if you don't like my collection, still hit like because why not? And also hit subscribe down below to get me to 2000 hopefully. <laughs> and, I'll, and also you'll see more videos coming up too. <laughs> not just because I asked you to. Because you will see more videos coming up and there is a lot more coming up. And we have Halloween coming up soon so don't forget about that. And also... You can leave me a comment down below, like I said, if there's anything in the in the drawers, let me know. If you want to see them in videos, I can try and work them into somewhere. It may not be in the next month or so, but it could be eventually. I might do a shot my stash or something like that. And yeah, that's everything, I think. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye. <laughs>